Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Nerd Den here for the second or third video of today because I've just thought, hey, just to record a bunch of stuff because there's been a fair bit of Doctor Who news today. So I just thought to record loads of videos and get them out for your faces. So yeah, today we are going to be talking about the possibility of Sasha Dewan leaving Doctor Who as the master at the end of the Centenary Special, which we now know is called The Power of the Doctor. I always seem to refer to it as the Centenary Special. I think that's just because of, um, you know, the amount of time it took to wait um, for the title to drop. From the announcement of the special back in September 2021, I believe it was, when it was announced when Jody was leaving, or was it August? July, August time, I think it was, from the top of my head, and that's when it was announced. So, yeah, anyway, um, getting on to what the topic is today. We're going to be talking about, yeah, the possibility of Sasha Dewan leaving as the master. And this comes from an extract from a brand new interview with the actor uh, where he is talking about the final episode. So let's have a look at that. Okay, so this extra it is saying, when I finished filming as a passing gift, they gave me my costume and tissue compression eliminator all locked away in my cupboard. I do wear it secretly at the weekends. And uh, as a the uh, person on Twitter does rightfully point out this could mean that Sasha does not have a place in RTD2. Let's talk about this one in a bit more detail. So with Sasha Dewan being the master for the entirety of Jodie's era and Chris Chibnall's era, we're now entering a new era of Doctor Who and people are rightfully you know, speculating about a few things and the future of the master is one of those things that have been brought up. And people want uh, Sasha's master to become the next Anthony Ainley's master where he stayed on and fought multiple Doctors, starting from the fourth Doctor all the way to the show's cancellation with the seventh Doctor, which, you know, yeah, that meant he was coming back for quite a few episodes, like a lot of episodes. And, yeah, people want that to happen again because Sasha, I feel like, for me personally, we haven't seen the full potential of his master yet. I know I haven't seen, you know, the power of the doctor yet but i would say that um you know it would be nice to see his you know the full potential of his character um and you know see it explored in different ways and a different interpretation under russell t davis but now we enter like a bit of uncertainty because when cast leave the show they are always given props um or some memorabilia to take home with them uh, like I think Jenna Coleman got a uh, piece of the TARDIS. Matt Smith got a sonic screwdriver. Um, and yeah, there's been countless others that have been given various gifts. So I think, personally, this could signify the end of this iteration of the Master. Um, but to be fair, with um, Doctor Who uh, re resuming production in this new era in a new place in Cardiff... Um, I believe it's moved from the BBC Studios in Cardiff to Bad Wolf Studios. So maybe he's just been given the costume because it's not going to be going to Bad Wolf Studios. But at the same time, that could be seen to signify that his time as the Master is unfortunately over. But if that is the case, I would like to say that Sasha's Master has been absolutely fantastic. I've enjoyed every single second of him on screen. It has been a delight to see him... Um, play the role and he is going to be reprising the role anyway in Big Finish so I'm really excited for that um, but one thing I would say though and I want to kind of have a debate about this in the comment section down below do you think that if Sasha does indeed call time on playing the master do you think that we should have a break away from the character because let's be honest it'll be the same thing over and over again we'll, we will be seeing the master suddenly pop up in an episode in a disguise or something like that um, and then we'll obviously see a unique interpretation of their madness and then they'll fade away and then come back as a new person again and I feel like if, if you're not going to keep the same iteration of the character along for a, for a long time then you know we may as well call it quits and, well not quits but call time on the character you know give the character some rest time and then come back um, because there's plenty of other characters I would like to see return, including some renegade Time Lords. 
like Omega, the Rani, the Monk. The possibilities are endless. But yeah, I am going to wrap up this video here. If you are new around here, be sure to subscribe. And I will see you all on my next video. Goodbye for now.